Nondescript black box strikes again. What's inside is coming up next on GB Guns. So this box is a bit larger than some of the other ground power boxes you've seen us open. That's because the gun's a bit larger. Uh, first off, you do get this warning that uh, this firearm has both a safety and a decocker, and the decocker level, when held kept down, uh, keeps it in double action mode. I'll show you that in a minute. So brush, our manual, two mags, double stack 10 millimeter. The P40 and 10 millimeter from Grand Power. Oh, this is gonna be fun. Let me get the box out of the way and we'll take a look at the gun. So as you know, uh, I originally did not like 10 millimeter and I avoided it. I'll clear this thing first. After uh, an experience with a rather high-end gun that I found unpleasant to shoot. We shot an all-steel gun that uh, proved us different. Grand Power has this rotating barrel that reduces recoil quite a bit. So I was curious if that can make a polymer handled 10 millimeter pleasant to shoot. That's why we've got this. And yes, it is called the P40 because they also have it in 40 cal. 40 cal is the tamed down or neutered uh, 10 millimeter. So it isn't a whole lot of modification to make a 10 millimeter shoot 40 or 40 shoot 10 at the manufacturer's end. We'll not get into doing it at home. Starting up front, look at that business end. <laughs> Slide to frame, it's tight. The barrel, we just wait till I show you inside these if you haven't seen inside Grand Power before. Frame has this rounded cuts, which is interesting. That's different for the Grand Powers. Uh, the flats, I imagine, help keep glare down. We have our magazine release protected by that raise there to our magazine ejects not drops as you may know that's one of my pet peeves is when a magazine just kind of daintily comes out uh, this one definitely gets rid of the magazine take a look at our trigger first the double action it's long and heavy no perceivable stacking there's the wall and it breaks not bad reset Short and crisp. There we go. Let's see if I can learn that. There it is. Definitely a louder click and a click you can feel when it does a complete reset. Nice. So, controls within reach. Safety is up. Down to decock and go into double action. And if you keep it down, it stays in double action. Good for practice. Also have to be cautious though when shooting, uh, depending on your grip, I sometimes end up bumping this down under recoil and then I end up with lots of double action shots. So looking at the stippling and grip texture on here, we can see we've got hashes going in different directions. This slimming bottom, I love. Uh, we have this on some of the uh, interchangeable grip model gram powers because it helps the hand fold around there. So it fits nicely. Slide to frame in the back is tight as we expected. Metal sights, three dot, and as with all ground powers, completely ambidextrous controls, left hand ready or right handed, you get injured and have to operate your handgun with your left hand. If that's something you haven't practiced yet, you should try it. It's pretty difficult on some guns. And there's our rotating barrel. Pretty neat how that happens. Next up, we'll field strip. So to take a look inside the gun, and this one might be a bit dirty because I have shot it already. Uh, Grand powers are a bit different. Pull down on both sides of the takedown lever here. Bring the slide back and up, and it comes off. That is a strong spring. Spring is not uncaptured, which makes for easy changes. Let me wipe some of the gunk out of this chassis. And yes, I said chassis, because that is a steel insert. That's part of what keeps consistent trigger. There's no flame flex. Frame flex does not matter. Remember that tripping over my tongue. 
beautifully machined. And one of my favorite things on these rotating barrel cram powers is just the beauty of these barrels. Look at that cam surface. It's like a mirror. All turned obviously from one large piece of steel. And look in our frame after I get the gun cap from shooting. Or slide rather. Nice and clean. You see they've removed excessive metal where it doesn't need to be because the lighter weight your slide is, the less perceived recoil you can have when the slide slams all the way back. So safety plunger is tapered as part of that smooth trigger feel we, we get. Very nice. So we'll get this reassembled and back out to the range. Any technical questions on this, check the description of the video, guys. I'm tired of reading numbers to everyone. Um, just check down there. That's where you'll find it. MSRP, search for it. Ask your dealer. You're going to get a different price than I would, than someone in New York would. Well, they probably can't have this, but you get the point. Uh, pricing is shopping. Anyways, we'll get this back together and out to the range. Thanks for watching. Thanks for watching, GB Guns. And if you watch this far, you appreciate our format and what we're doing, or maybe you're waiting to make that really angry comment. Either way, click the big griffin up here to subscribe. The link over here to show you a related video based on what you just watched. Or down here is the playlist relevant to this video. Once again, we appreciate your feedback, your comments. Join us on Facebook, Instagram, and we'll see you in the next video.